Hello everyone and welcome back to the last episode of this extreme let's play. My ships are just about to come into the harbor area for additional repairing. Um, quite a lot of them, battle-worn ships, battle-worn captains and crew. Um, they're going to relax here a bit once again in our city, um, you know, replenishing their health, their spirits, their mind, whatever, their morale, and then it goes back out there into the battlefield. Um, I'm also in the process of finishing my last right now, right? Uh, we cannot afford any other than that, and it's it's really getting tough now getting more ships out, and I think that fleet here is enough already as it stands. Now, we've also finished uh, this district here in the last episode, and I would like to go ahead and just upgrade these bunches here to some workers there as well and we can go ahead of course also with some more paving the road of um, this last district that we have out there um, we do like some farmer workforce there once more so that is of course also um, a thing that happens because we upgraded so many in min um, and what we can do well we can basically just go ahead and build us a few more farmers we do have another um, area up there um, just behind the hospital really where we can squeeze in people and I would like to do this. Um, by the way, the fish, has it come in already? Yes, the fish is working again, right? Because there was this problem with the destroyed fisheries and I didn't see that um, early enough. So in that case, this one can work now. Um, we can just really go ahead here and squeeze in those farmers there as I want to get the workforce done. And we are also going to have a nice pop in this area just beside all the, the farmers then, right? It's not the most beautiful district really. It's just something that we need to build quickly to get the workforce back on track because without that my plantations are rather empty looking and empty plantations basically mean empty uh, cities, right? So we should not have that at all. Now very good, that's on the way. Um, In Madison there's no riot at the moment. No, there's also no fire so look at that, right? We have a really happy population right now. We got the plague once again but then that's always a constant hassle that you have to work with. Um, we do, by the way, have um, the church here. We have the marketplace. This marketplace here I don't need anymore. Um, in that case I would like to move it either or um, completely destroy it. We have this marketplace here as well for the that is still working for the for the for the workers there, right? Um, and then we got these workers there, a thousand worker population. I would like to get rid of all of the workers here. That means I have to upgrade them. There you go to artisans and this way we can now get rid of uh, this marketplace here and instead well something that we definitely should implement here is a hospital i just need to get rid of this road there and then we can kind of like use this one right here in the center let's have a right entrance then to it as well just really in this area by the way my ships should have arrived now. Yep. I would like to do something. Let's get rid of all the harbor cannons there. I don't need them anymore. And what we can do instead is I'm going to have a, a couple more repair cranes here so that we can really speed up the whole repairing process of my dreadnought. It's just taking ages otherwise. Right. So these three are being repaired at the moment simultaneously. Um, and we can even make this one to four um, so that all of them get their job done quickly. And the dreadnought here is still coming out. Do we have items for that, by the way? Hmm, there's no real item at the moment. I could send my, my cargo ship here, right? We can sell, send it down there. Look at that. The corridor to the pirate is almost available now, completely, almost free um, and undefended. There's really not a big challenge there anymore. Um, as it stands right now, we get an easy path to N. And there it is, the last Dreadnought, Future Dawn. That is a pretty cool name. And Future Dawn is going out here, ready to be equipped with all the latest tech that we have. Like, nothing at the moment. My ship is still on the way over here now, getting to Anne Harlow. Um, just that we can finish this one too. Now, what we can do in the meantime, though, is that I hope that my ships are, will be ready soon. So this one here still needs some more repairing. Looking, well, looking good. This one has been fully repaired now. That's going on rather quick anyway. Right, so of course it's not taking ages. It's still taking a bit of time there, though. Um, I would still like to conquer the other smaller islands there as well for the loot, right? So we might still find something on them. Uh, the Admiral also has a smaller island here. By the way, I think Princess Jing, that's her last island. There's still the south area there, too, where we haven't fully explored everything yet. I might be sending one of my... Yeah, the Clipper that we can lose easily. Let's send it down there because there's definitely something going on. Um, on these two islands. That's a big island up there, or Your down here, right? Far in the south. Um, really interesting. My... Oh! 
She still has some battle cruisers left and she dares to attack Stations. Madison right away there. So might be a suicide squad. Let's send my repaired dreadnoughts over in this area there. So somewhere she should still be having something other than this, I guess. There's the clipper just now. The Let's just try and find it. Let's not try to get too closer to these islands there, right? Because we might then have a bit of a problem with the harbor defenses. This one, yeah, there you go. And destroyed. Yeah, clipper gone it is. But there is another island of Princess Ching. Very good to know. Uh, we might actually just, yeah, let's actually just move with four of my, uh, four of my dreadnoughts. I mean, uh, let's make it five of my dreadnoughts. He's here. And this one here, perhaps. Let's move them against that. My cargo ship, let's just have a look there as well. What we might be finding here, something useful uh, for my for my ships, especially the damage to buildings is just, it's just, there it is, right? It's just beautiful, really, because that really, really boosts your output um, against them. And then Romanov, there you go once again. I love her. And attack range, not the best, really. 10% is not really a lot. Your Damage to steamships, sounds attack. nice too. Mm. The pirate flag. Petty structures. Yeah, she destroyed once again one of my fisheries, I guess. We don't care about this. Polista, there you go. That's actually it, because we just need them for the last ride route, right? So let's send it over here. The cargo ship, and then over there. And my buildings, there they are. She's still here. Let's try and take her out there too. Her last battle cruiser, one of her last battle cruisers, that is. I guess. Right, as we just quickly can take it out. I mean, really, really petty there. Come on, destroying my horror buildings like that. And that was the battle cruiser, basically. Insane how quickly they go down. There is some loot we might. I'm still hoping that we find Begin something other turn. than potatoes. Thank you for that. Repair the buildings. And let's move some of my ships into this area where there's still some enemy ships roaming as well. Oh, you have sunk something? Alright, I will need to get my dreadnoughts down there actually. And something else, it was Roja, right? Yes, there it is. Roja, let's take it down. Let's take the ship back. Okay, there are safety items again because, of course, it was the cargo ship that we've lost, right? And that was just very, very dangerous here. Lots of money would have been lost. There's my Dreadnought. I can move these items now to my last Dreadnought that we've equipped. There is a lot of defense here, right? So that is just one of her smaller harbor areas, this one. And then we got the main harbor area. Whew. That's that's going to be tricky. No idea yet. That's going to be tricky. Let's move my dreadnoughts though to the other um, unexplored islands for now. So there is, I think this is still, yep, that is also something. We need to be careful here. I really don't want to risk my dreadnoughts though. Three are still being repaired. Min is under siege. Ah, that's the pettiness again of these AIs. Just destroying my fisheries. So let's just see what's here. There is Miss Hunt. With yeah, some, some nice de defense there. We're going to move against that, of course. And yeah, take heavy damage in the process. Because of those sea mines. And some of you have been suggesting I could take down the sea mines with the mortar. I've tried this and for me at least it didn't work really, right? So no idea. This one's down, this one's down. And this right now definitely needs to get out here. There's some heavy damage from, I guess, the big betty there. Whew, that was close though. No, that was really close for this one. Move it away and let's take the other ships to Twitch Snap. <laughs> and what do we get here? Uh, town hall building items, really nothing of value. These AIs are really crappy. I was expecting so much more of them. There is some loot here though. So we might still be, yeah, reinforced concrete. We don't need that. Reinforced concrete, advanced well, weapons. Nice. I take that. Reinforced concrete. And... Reinforced concrete. How could it be any different? Very good. So at least the weapons we can take. Um, let's move. Let's move in unison. Put my ships together. And let's move this one up to P, uh, Pale Sea Town. And then all the way back home to Madison again. Because I definitely need to repair one of my ship ships there. So this one. That is already on its way home. 
Okay, so another move against Princess Ching. Now we have uh, this island here, Heavenly Gate, um, that I would like to take over real quick. So let's just also stay a bit further outside to not trigger that many sea mines. The building is down really, that's it, right? So it was just a few volleys there and the island belongs to us and museum at least. Two items for the museum, I take that. Very good. My fleet continues now into this foggy region that we have where there's a big island still waiting. And my cargo ship is going to take the, the items that we just now got. That is the... Yeah. That is like... Yeah, well, actually, it's 30 attractiveness that we get in addition for that. We do have the available slots for the museum, so I can use that just safely. Now, my fleet, meanwhile, continues. We did take some damage on one ship, but that's it. Cabinet Maker would join us. For the window maker, 30% productivity, all right. That is a mishunt island. And absolutely not fortified. Ah, it's okay, it's, a, it's okay. He's fortified there a bit. Let's move against the, the building. It's a beautiful big island, actually. All right, we totally missed that up to this point because I never really dared to go down this far south. Now we can, of course, do this. And let's just take it down. It's going to be a bit more tricky here though, right? Because the main building here um, is not going to be enough because there's so much defense on the other side of the island. So we will need to move quickly then to the other side. Just beautiful really how quickly those ships are going down. And buildings. Alright. And then there's also some coastal buildings. Every single building counts towards the morale. So the more we can crumble this. This is getting a bit tricky here because of the... Oh my goodness, that's very narrow, right? Done? That's going to be a problem for my dreadnoughts. I'm going to move the other side, the other way around it. And then we move up from the north um, into this island there. And I hope we can do this on time because there will be a, a timer soon now ticking um, down about that. So let's just check it out. They're moving. Are there any sea mines on that side? Nah, there's nothing here, right? So this is, this is perfectly clear ocean water. My cargo ship has arrived. Let's take the museum item and the ancient manifest. Those two. Get this one to the other side. And also my two dreadnoughts here would be battle ready again. So this one and this one. And I'm probably, probably going to send it then over soon. Yes, now the timer ticks. So we need to hurry up there a bit. To get to that side and quickly attack. There, this is attack. this is going to be full of sea mines, I guess. So my fully repaired ship is going to the front there, so we don't risk it. Well, let's just try and, and take them down there, really. This is nasty. So this is strategically very problematic there for, for my ships, of course. Let's just try this. Uh, as we can see, crumbling quickly, but will it be enough? That's the question. It will not be enough, I think. Repair crane. Ah, there are some coastal buildings. That was enough. Perfect. This island belongs to us now too. Sea mines be gone. And town hall, town hall. <laughs> no botanical garden. Why are they also into flowers? I don't understand. So many botanical garden items, but no, almost no artifacts and stuff like that. Right? Something that would really push my city there nicely. Sean, I'm going to pay you. So let's use the artifacts as displayed. These, this is some war treasure that we got there, right? Some war loot. The antique novel that we can use. And with that, we have reached a new level. Very nice. We are Madison. Oh, we also have the beer festival going on right now in Madison because people are so happy. And then this one we can use as well safely. Um, with the new level. I don't even know what kind of level we are right now because we can't see that because of the beer festival right now. It's overlapping it. Um, we are an attractive metropolis, right? And with that, let's just check it out. There's nothing here. The influence for the museum we, we're still going to keep. Extra goods from factories we keep. And Department of Welfare. Attractiveness for artisans and engineers. Three in addition. This is huge. So this is a nice boost. We're getting one full level with that. A thousand attractiveness on top of it. Because every artisan and every um, engineer residence that is now surrounded, look at that, is getting um, these plus three attractiveness on top of that. Holy cow. Lots of new levels. I think it was actually two levels that we just boosted us now. Um, enticing metropolis it is. Pretty like bright balloons, riverbanks, and calligraphy. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. That is just really cool. 
um, that we can take. Um, and then we also unlock the Department of Trade Policy, 300% productivity for all coastal buildings or 50 tons of island storage. Let's go with the coastal buildings, um, especially I'm um, surrounded by Harbor Master offices, so I, I would need a, a couple more of them. We get also plus one influence for engineer residences. If I tick this one here, that gives me 32, 34 influence on top of that. It's nice, but I think we I'm still going with the reduced need for food. Right, but holy moly, that was some nice boosts and I'm totally happy with the enticing metropolis. 2,800 attractiveness. We're going to lose some of that again with the when the festival ends. Uh, we'll lose 250 attractiveness, but that's still we're still going to be 800 attractiveness plus now thanks to that latest policy. Beautiful. Absolutely love that. And that is despite having all that heavy weapon, uh, all these heavy factories that are still working, right? And also the factories but the palace is just doing an amazing job at all of that. Hi. Right, haha, <laughs> we would be, with the influence bonus and getting rid of some more defenses, we could actually push out another Dreadnought, um, if I'm into that. No idea. There's lots of naked area here still that I would like to use for some cultural buildings as well. That is some temperate groves, right? Because that looks natural most of the time. So we can have some of them then here um, around the, the museum there really. So that we have something there. Unfortunately, I don't have the mod available right now that gets rid of the patches. But nah, I don't. So we will just have to plaster it full so that it looks a bit more natural. There's some dense forest area here. And then we got all these empty spots there as well that we can fill in with some with some additional trees, right? And then we are in the in the zone here. By the way, I think we do get some attractiveness for yeah for every one of these planted trees. So just on that side of the map, and we do have a bit more space here. Then let's just really get these trees out there. Perhaps we actually will be able to push another level. Nah, I doubt it. I doubt it, but we can still try, of course. There, we got a couple more. There's a nice patch. So we might not even lose one attractiveness level there with uh, the beer festival ending then. Meanwhile, the fleets have arrived back home again for one last repair before we make the final push onto Miss Hunt. This one here as well, and this one, and that one needs some repairing there too. I wonder if we're going to lose a ship, <laughs> or two, because the main harbor of Mishan seems heavily fortified enough. Alright, this is going to be nasty. The fleet has been fully repaired and is on the move now um, towards Miss Hunt's main island. There's going to be definitely a lot of uh, sea mines here and troubles with with destroyed ships. I hope we're not losing too much. There's also a smaller a distant forest, Princess Ching Island, so distant forest it is, um, that we will take over then as well just while we're there. The I mean, it's just beautiful really. Such a big dreadnought fleet on the move. Strike in Ori has overcome. I didn't even know there was a strike, but now I'm smarter, I guess. Where should we go first? We're going to have some problems there. Let's actually take Distant Forest 2, otherwise we're getting attacked from two sides there. Let's take the smaller island first, and I think we will be able to attack it without getting too far into the harbor area there. That would be... So that we don't take that many sea mines um, as damage there right now. There's a video. Look at that. Like, they can really spam those a lot. So there's the first one down. Perfect. And there's the next one going down already. That would be this main building there. Oh, we still took a lot of damage there. This one's down and... Yeah, actually, she should be giving up now here. There you go. Perfect. That was the small island, yet we took some nice damage there. And... Oh, a sperm whale. 40 attractiveness for the zoo. There's some zoo items here. California gull and the peacock. Um, something that might be interesting then. But at least we can fill the zoo and another item for the museum. This island was successful. This was this was precious. Oh god. We need to move. We need to take it. There is no way around that. I can't I can't talk my way around that island here, Milk Church. The attack starts now. It's going to be nasty, for sure. 
it's going to be nasty. There's some heavy damage on the first right now. Now, let's move right into. Let's actually just move right into this full area there. Even though, of course, we're going to see those sea mines exploding then, but it's just really necessary. We have the other ones moving around it a bit. So those three, let's keep them a bit moving. There's so many cannons here. Incredible. Look at the damage that we receive. Holy moly. That's that's just really nasty. I don't think we'll be able to take this island, to be honest. Because there's still the other uh, area that is so well defended. Right, those two cannons take now heavy damage too. This one's down, this one's down. There's still the harbor artillery building here that we definitely need to destroy as well. Alright. Now we just clean up the remaining buildings to crumble the morale there just a tiny bit more. I will need to um, take a big detour though to get to this island there, right? And then there's the Admiral Island on that side. It's like they're working together on that. Um, and there's also another harbor area on the other side. Let's move. Let's move my fleet up here for now. And I will probably have to... Yeah, at least one ship will not be able to continue with the fighting. And that's this one here. Give us time to turn. That will move away from my fleet in general. We need to hurry up there, of course, because the timer will start ticking then again. Look at that. That's a lot of cannons in one spot. Right, this one goes, I don't know, probably back home to Madison. Getting some repairing done. While the other ones continue now through the channel here. Getting to the first smaller area, this one. We need to clear this one too. We got three minutes now. Alright, there we are moving in. Let's try to keep our distance to not get too far into this area there. That is plastered once more with um, mines. We're really just going to take a tool like that, right, and destroy those. Ah, that's insane. Like, I think there were three at, 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 at a single location. We lost the Dreadnought. Was to be expected that we lose one of them at some point. All right, this coastal area has been destroyed as well. Morale is not critical yet. And now we move towards the main area. Uh, we got... We got the ship still, but we're going to lose more. It's Everything here is full with mines. How is that even possible? This is my harbor area already. Right, you got the sea mines in my harbor area everywhere. Battleship down. Uh, we need to get rid of this one here. This will not be able to participate anymore. And with the influence that we got, we should... Oh no, we can't. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this cannon there so we can rebuild a dreadnought we can always rebuild no props right ah this is insane though there is this is this is something i don't really like right there's no way for us to to get to get this one done properly here now right this is going to be a total mess for my dreadnoughts i think there was a mine destroyed but that's that let's just try to take them from a distance so not all of them can shoot at once and we don't take too much damage from the mines. Yeah. Morale is now critical for them. Every inch hurts a lot right now. Big Betty, Harbor Artillery. There we took it. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. And Milk Church belongs to us. The remaining sea mines are going down. I think I've just seen something exploding there. Um, and then we got the Admiral Island. That I should be able to take as well. So let's just have a look there. One Dreadnought once again needs to back off. While the other ones continue. And what do we have here? Oh, legendary Botanical Garden item still though. Legendary. So Miss Hunt has the special flowers. <laughs> that she groomed. And now we go right into Admiral. And of course this 
guy will also have his C mines plastered. And we are losing a dreadnought there. I can't back it off anymore. Dreadnought down. Uh, we can though save the items that we have. Left and right. Those big baddies are doing a massive amount to the dreadnoughts, but it's still fine. That one's down. Very nice. We're not going to lose another ship there. They have a huge range, by the way, especially against buildings. Takes all the special items that we have. The Admiral is still coming with some warships there. He got them. Is he trying it? I mean, this island is lost for sure. At least it should be giving up now. There it is. Perfect. Taken over and now he moves in. A bit late there perhaps. <laughs> We are not going to lose a ship there. Very nice. And this island also belongs to us. And ladies and gents, we have world domination achieved. No more AI opponents in the old world left. We got some nice loot that we can still use. But that's it. We have won. We are victorious over the hardest AIs in this game yet. Though I have to say, there is a problem here at the end game that was my mistake. And if you attempt to play with this mod, note this. Play on the largest map possible with the largest islands and the highest fertility. The AI will not work if there's not enough islands, not big enough islands and not enough resources in the end game anymore to supply their fleet and cannons, right? So that's the developer Aces told me. If you want to play with this mod, only play with the highest size settings for island, world and fertility. And then you get the maximum joy out of that. The problem in this let's play was it was really difficult in the mid game, but the end game was rather um, easier than once we got the dreadnought out. Reason for that is also the AI did not advance to um, investors, right? So we only had now engineer um, AI opponents and engineer defenses. Um, it will, would be much harder if they advance to investors. So this is my goal to for the next playthrough then of Anno, uh, where we're going to play them with the highest settings for Loading everything. Stations. Map size, also the traders, very important. Activate the traders, get those items, get those quests um, that you can get out um, to further boost it. And the AI is also going to use those traders and stuff like that to further boost their cities. So just take note here, use that accordingly, and you should be golden if you want to get the best experience out of that. But of course, that's the room to improve. That's where a new playthrough will be vital, where a new playthrough will be um, useful um, and interesting again. So of course, it's not the end um, of this one. That was only our first take at the, the combat overhaul, a new mod for Anno that is just so nice, such a nice addition overall to the game. Let's get those legendary items over to Madison. And with that, we can enjoy the last marvels of the city. Madison here protected us well and provided us with the biggest fleets yet. Thanks again to Asus for this uh, beautiful mod um, that he created here. If you want to support him, just go to his Discord channel there. The li video link is in the description once again. Um, and other than that, um, thank you for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. Glad this series was so uh, well received. And of course, onwards to the next Anno series. What it is? I have no idea yet, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Cheers.